There's a lot on your plate starting from, from this week. Yeah, look, it's great. It's, uh, it's what footballers play for, is uh, to play games. And uh, we've got a lot of games coming up in a you know, short period. And, you know, the Asian Champions League uh, is something refreshing, something, you know, real different, that you get the opportunity to <clears throat> travel away to Asia, but uh, to play against different opposition. You know, you, in the A-League, you play... You know, obviously against the same teams over and over, but uh, it's a whole new challenge uh, having to come up against you know, three very, very good teams in Uara Reds, uh, Guangzhou Evergrande and Pohang Steelers, so it's a, it's a great test. Would the Asian Champions League help boost confidence? Was it too good or something that could be a positive in terms of the game? Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, I had the experience at, uh, with the Mariners, you know, with uh, played there two years in a row in the Champions League and it refreshes the, the group of players mentally um, because it's, uh, it's something new and to, you know, have the opportunity to go and play against top quality players and, and as I said, to play against different opposition, different tactics, different uh, styles of teams that, uh, you know, it's refreshing mentally as well as, uh, you know, obviously on the field. Yeah, look, it's, it's, it's no doubt that we're in a very difficult group. Um, you know, Guangzhou's uh, budget is probably 40 times more than ours, and uh, Poang Steelers is probably 30, and Uara Reds is 20 times more. So that's a challenge that's ahead. It's, uh, it's not impossible. West Sydney Wanderers showed that. You know, when I was at the Mariners, we made the last 16 uh, and got out of the group stage. So. It's not impossible. It's what's important is that uh, you know you win your home games. You know I, I feel and know that in the past the Asian nations don't really travel as good as uh, what they can. Uh, they depend on their home games as well. So we defensively and, and <clears throat> mentally we have to be very strong away from home, and we have to go for it at home and try and win our home games to get through the next stage. No. Yeah, no way. I think it's it's great. It's um, it's a good competition. The, the top teams in Europe they, they do it and do it well. Um, you know, every single year. So I think if we, you know, we see ourselves as a big club, and if we want to be a big club, then we have to be able to challenge on both fronts. Um, and I think we we believe we're good enough to do that. So. Um, you know, we're not looking behind us at who's trying to chase us on the ladder. We're looking forward and, and um, you know, probably ruining those missed opportunities in the last few weeks to have jumped into, you know, one win out of the last out of the last four we've been in third spot right now. So it, that side of it's disappointing. But we know how quick things change in the A-League. Every team seems to be able to, you know, two, three wins and you're, and you're back in form and you're, and you're flying again. So uh, this is a big month for us. And if we can get back on track, then, you know, things will be looking good.